Go girl, go girl, ambition. Go girl, go girl, go girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my girl. channel. So go today's girl. video go is going to be a collaboration with Call Me Too Cute. So you guys make sure that you follow her and before you do anything else, make sure you guys subscribe below and if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave some comments below and especially if you're into makeup listen i am going to need your help because i'm gonna have to start all over but first i have to show you guys how like disastrous my makeup bag is so this is going to be a collaboration with her it's the battle of the makeup bags trying to see which one is worse so I feel like my makeup bag is like horrible because let me just be honest, I am not really into makeup like that. Honestly, it's because I suck at doing makeup. I'ma just lay it out there. I suck at doing makeup. I'm getting better at my eyebrows. I'll put on some mascara, maybe some eyeliner depending on the occasion. Definitely gotta have my lip gloss. But um, other than that, I'm trash. I mean like just recently I went on Facebook and had Facebook help me do my makeup which was pretty cool and it was actually really fun um, and I made sure makeup actually turned out decent but anyway so yeah let's just get on with it so that and this is my makeup bag as you guys can see first of all like I can't even close the thing because I literally just pack everything in here and I just recently moved to this apartment and when I moved here um, I wasn't able to bring everything so I didn't get the chance to bring my actual like makeup cases or See, I don't even know what that's called storage my makeup storage Um, so I just put all my makeup in this bag The sad thing is that all my makeup even fit in this bag because y'all know some people be having whole collections And it fits in like a big purse, but all my stuff fit in this bag so um Break to yourself. Okay, so first things first. I have this Huda Beauty palette, which actually this is the world's gold edition. I actually really like this palette, but I had it for a while and I don't know how to do eyeshadow at all. A friend of mine actually bought me and her one, which is really sweet of her, but um I don't know how to use it. So honestly, I'll just like take like one color and most likely it's gonna be like a gold or brown or just in my orange and just put it right here on top of my lid and think I did something but yes yeah, so I have this Huda Beauty palette that's honestly probably going to waste because if you're into makeup then y'all know that this palette came out forever ago and I had it since it came out and it's still like it don't even look like it's really been used y'all like sad but yeah, so I have a huge beauty palette. I don't even want to show y'all my brushes. Like, this is crazy. So I have this um, MAC Mineralized Charts Water Skin Hydrating Mist. And it's almost out. But listen, I've had this thing since Tony, like a friend of mine, took me makeup shopping. And that was embarrassingly, that was like four years ago maybe three to four years ago like yeah like four years ago the fact that it even lasted that long that goes to show how often i do my makeup or like how good i do it or bad i shall say but um good thing this is nothing that like expires at least i hope it doesn't like does this inspire but um yeah so got that trust water um the little hydrating mist. I usually, you know, when I do my makeup, I spritz it on my face after I get done and give me that little glow and I go on my way. Um, yeah, so. My foundation. I got this foundation the same time I got this. And y'all, it's been lasting. Like, it's still going strong. And, um, I've heard, I've actually heard, like, a lot of, like, not good stuff since about this foundation but it's been doing me well I mean clearly I haven't had a need to buy any more but this is the MAC um, Match Master SPF 15 foundation um, this is that 
and you know it still has a decent amount in here and it's still growing strong but um I don't know like do foundation expires I might be time for me to get a new one of these sis so listen let me know okay so actually so I went um I don't know who I was with but we went to I think like Walgreens or something and I didn't have uh, my foundation with me so somebody helped me pick this one out but I never worn it because I feel like it's really dark like it's not my color at all but it's the true match Lumi L'Oreal Paris um it didn't fit me why do I still have it I, for maybe when that runs out I'll probably just start using this one don't check my life so I have the um, Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC. As you guys can see, this is about out. I've had this one since I've had the other things too, so it's probably not cool at all. I actually have a couple of those, a couple of that one. Let's see. Yep, and I have another one. This one is out. I probably should throw it away right now, right? But does MAC still take like the empty containers and give you a free lipstick? If so, I'm keeping this. Um, and I'm going to just take it back and go get me a free lipstick like I did today because today is actually National Free Lipstick Day. So I went and got a new lipstick. I bought the um, MAC Frost Lipstick. So this is the first um, product I bought for my makeup bag revamp that you guys are going to help me with. But this is the Frost Lipstick. So they have like the nine different colors that you can choose from and y'all. They only had three colors left and one was like this really light color that probably wasn't even going to show up on me. I probably would have just used it as a highlight or something. And the other one was a purple that I already have. So I got this one. It's called Chintz. Chintz. But I said I was going to try like mixing it and see what I come up with. Because some girl in the store, she mixed it while she was in the store and it actually looked really good. But um, let me, let's see how this one looks because I don't know. But we gonna see. I tried it on in the store, but it didn't show up that good. I'm gonna just be honest. It did not show up that well. But um, yeah, so it's a frost lipstick, so it's like this color right here. Let's see. I probably don't even put on lipstick right. What do you guys think? It's like a gloss. It's like a gloss, yeah? But, um, yeah, so that's my, my first lipstick for my revamp. I like it, though. It's like, it feels like some chapstick. I don't know. This, hmm. Cool. I like the way it feels. I don't feel like a regular lipstick, like matte or nothing like that. So, I have this, um... Not sure what this is called, but I really love this using this on my lids. It's like a um some little like glitter, but I've had this for years, y'all, and it's still like full. Like it's like a full thing in here. Um, but I really love this color, like y'all. This color be popping, popping on me like sis. Like you can use this as a little bit of everything. Let's see. We're gonna do a little highlight with this. Can y'all see that? Tell me that's not popping. Hold on now. I might be on to something. See, I might be able to get some more use out of this. Did I, see, I probably ain't even doing this right. But good thing y'all have, because y'all gonna let me know. Hold on now, y'all. I might be on to something. For real. I'm about to put it on my nose too. Because I be seeing y'all do that. Hmm. Put it right here above my lip. I seen that too. <laughs> I'm probably about to look like a dang old fool on this camera. I call this one 
natural glow <laughs> yeah so on to the next so I have the MAC um, Upward Lash Mascara I'm gonna be honest this is empty my intentions were to take all my empty stuff back so I can get the free product so this is this is empty it's a mascara it's empty ain't, ain't. listen and now I had this since Tony took me makeup shopping a long time ago so this is the new this is the MAC Nude Sexy I've had this one for years look at that it's like a whole thing in here like what is this I could probably mix this I wonder how it will look let's see mix this with the chinks what y'all think y'all think that'll go y'all better don't have me out here looking crazy now y'all better comment in the um comment section and let me know because i'll be out here thinking i look cute so i got some lashes i don't know how to put lashes on like i don't like i don't even attempt and the crazy thing is i bought like three pair of lashes from one of my homegirls christina and just to support her new business um and I don't even know how to put lashes on. Like, I literally wasted, like, $75 on lashes. And I don't even know how to put them on. Like, same help. I don't know what to do with my life. So, this is the Baby Skin Maybelline um, Instant Pore Eraser. I actually really like this. This is, like, a primer. Like, before I put my foundation on. But since I really don't even know about makeup, I just put it on because I see, like, other people doing it. Um, yeah. But I've had this forever to see how dirty it is. Um... But it's still something in here, so I still use it every now and then whenever I put on like a full face or something. Look at me trying to use like makeup lingo. Like I know what I'm talking about. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Sample. Y'all see how little this is? This is a sample. Never used it. I could probably still get some use out of this though. Because it's something in here, but it's little. Um, when would I use this? I'm pretty sure I used this like at the end, right? Photo Finish. Yeah, primer. All right, then I have this little black beauty book. Um, this is actually like some little eyeshadows. You guys probably know I got this from like a dollar store or something. Like I don't know, I don't know where I got that from. But I feel like it's some decent colors in there. Like I'm gonna use that. All right, and this is Laura Mercier. Um, baked powder, I guess. I don't really use it. It's so white. Like, I use it when I be trying to be extra and do like a full face or whatever. Do a lot of extra stuff and I'll use it. But, um, hold on, let me see. Let's see, she might be on to something with the natural glam. This is kind of cute, y'all. Don't lie. But yes, the Laura Mercier Baked Powder. Then I got my favorite highlight. I had this for a minute too. This is the little contour kit with the highlight. They all, this you can tell, I be up in here. Like I be up in that and do my highlight with that. I love that color on me. Like it's like, it's not too extra unless I put like a lot on, but it's like just enough to give you that glow and have your highlight popping, popping. So yeah. And this is another little. LA Colors Look For set. As y'all can see, when it comes to eyeshadows, like my go-to colors are these like gold and these brown and these orange. And I feel like that, I ain't got to do nothing crazy. Just put it on my lid and go. So, we had this event, her image, um, a night with her. And we gave all the girls like in their little swag bags, these, and I took one for myself. Um, but I have yet to use it, so these are my little foam thingy magics for, you know, to blend this or something. I'm probably not even using this right. Yeah, so I got this little thing. I probably can keep this though. Y'all let me know. And then I have this little baggie for like 
my um my everyday wear and my um not everyday but you know and that is my favorite actually this is not my favorite no more because it be getting all in my eyes my eyes burn i just can't do but the better than sets mascara y'all this mascara is fire fire but it be getting in my eye probably because i don't be know what i'm doing now y'all don't judge me but i don't have I ran out of my pencil that I have been using, so I started using this little dollar store little jank right here. This is um eyebrow pencil. Got the little spoolie, whatever you call it, in this. And this, I just make it work. I just make it do what it do. I don't even know what the brand is, but there you go. Um, then I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal Seal. Um, that I was using for like my underbrow and stuff to like do that. So let me show y'all these ratchet ass brushes. Okay. So oh, this is my eyeliner pencil from MAC. Um, have this forever too. It's still going strong with your girl so I'm going to keep holding on to that one. These are my trash ass brushes. Okay, so I bought this little set or whatever. This is Real Techniques. These three. This one, I won't throw away for shit in the world. I don't know why. You guys can see. Look at that. Like, look at that. Look at that. What am I supposed to do with that? Like, if we, I'm just going to even touch it no more. I don't even know why I said I should probably just throw it in the trash right now. But I'm not. Cause I gotta replace it first. But anyways, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Then I have these two. I use this one for my eyebrow, like this part right here, to do my little like up under there. Then I use this side right here to like brush it like that. This one I use for for my eyeshadows to do my little right there. So yeah, that's it. And this is my little blendy ball, like those right there. But this is my, my main one I use to do my little, when I act like I know what I'm doing. Like that or whatever. And then when my eyebrows don't turn out like I need them to, because like my tails are like non-existent, I take my little brush and use the wild brow and just fill it in, make it a little darker, a little fuller or whatever. Now, y'all probably gonna mess with me for this one, though. Not mess with me, but, like, y'all gonna be on my side with this. So, I got the Kylie Little Kids. You know? Even though I'm pro, um, I figure her name, but the billion dollar, she just went billion dollar company, but I got the Kylie Little Kids. Um, when they first, this is the, what colors are these? This is a nude, and this is just, like, a, um, like a burgundy, like a, um, I don't know. But I really love this one. Like, this one was my color during the fall. This one looks really good on me, too, but it, like, matches my skin tone. So, I just use it as, like, a neutral. But I love these, too. I'm not going to lie. Like, I love these, too. And then, of course, you know, the pencils came with it. Um, it's broken. But look at that. Yeah, the new pencil. Um, what else? So, I have this Fusion Pink lipstick. I wonder if I can mix this one, too, and get away with it. Let's see, I'm going to do it really light so I don't look too crazy on here. <laughs> hmm. Nah, I probably shouldn't have did that. we just going to act like it's not there. Alright, so what's next? And then I have Smoke Purple. This one I love. This is my, this is my little winter one too. This one, it's a dark purple. I think this one is my color. Like, I like this one. What y'all think? Hmm. I like this one. What else we got up in here? Pencil sharpener, dirty as shit. I like you see it. Then I got the orange color corrector, which I don't even use because, like, whatever. I bought this when I thought I was going to teach myself how to use lashes. But listen, waste of money because. These curly lashes of mine, like I just can't, just can't do it. And I got the little pencil, the little purple one, whatever from N N K. I would say next. 
This is not from NYX. Here we go again with the color. I told y'all this is my color when it comes to eyeshadow. This is Kiss New York. Now this, now I will say I replace this every time it runs out. This is the MAC Prep and Primer. Um, I use this highlight. I use it as like for my under brow. And I also use it for the little triangle here, triangle there, here. You know, right there, right there. I love this because I feel like this is like perfectly my color um, to blend or whatever. And my favorite um, chapstick. I really love this um, chapstick, y'all, because and I replaced this one too because it's um like health kind, like plant based, whatever. And it actually tastes really good. Like it does. This one I have a bunch of different flavors, but this one is cranberry tangerine. Y'all gonna make your lips so soft when you taste it. Actually, you got a taste. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat it or not, but you know, it tastes right. I don't know, but um, uh, oh, and I got a red lip in here too. I'm not gonna put this one on because I'm really gonna look like a damn clown. So this one, I don't know where this came, from. but this is the fatal red color sensational. Yeah. And um, there you have it. So that's my makeup bag. Make sure if you guys haven't already, tune in to Call Me Too Cute. And y'all let us know who won the war of the battle of the horrible ass makeup bags. I don't know. I think I might have sis beat. But if she got me beat, then she really needs help. Someone really needs y'all to go watch her video and see. Because she claims she had all her stuff since high school. And um... I've probably had all my stuff for a couple of years, but high school, like sis, how old are you? I hope she's like 20 or something. Let me stop. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below, help us sister out. Because as you guys can see, this is a hot mess. Like hot mess. I'ma just add like And I'm up here talking about it's a hot mess, but the truth is, I've been I've been using this stuff. I don't know if that's like bad for my skin or not, but I ain't even gonna lie, I've been using it. So um thank you guys for tuning in. Um don't forget to subscribe. And if you into some fit expo inspo and stuff like that. You need to get your body right and tight for the summer or whatever the case may be. Whenever you're watching this video, then head over to GetBody.com so you can join the Body Tribe. Y'all know. And um, for some black girl magic inspiration, HerImage.org. And I'll see you guys next time. Omega don't know. Ambitious girl.